I'm on the train from Volgograd or Stalingrad to Moscow. And I see right on the window, on the on the um, on the glass doors, that there is a uh, stickers, about six stickers: Facebook, Instagram, travel advisor, trip advisor, and um, and Twitter. The ones I know, the other ones I did not know. What were they? So. I take a couple of shots and I walk inside. There's some metal detectors. There's three old, moody, ugly, old, cunt babushkas sitting there. And I approach one of them and then I see this old telephone on the wall and I take a shot of the wall. She yells at me like, nah, 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 nah. And I'm like, oh shit. I'm fucking still in 1940s technology. I'm sorry. Anyways, she approaches me yelling at me in Russian, asking me questions. I said, uh, Moya Ruski Malinki, Malinki, not, not, not much Ruski. Angleski, niet. Spanski, niet. Italianski, niet. Well, no communications, I said. She asked me for an ID. I said, fuck you if I give you my passport. I give her my, my Georgia uh, driver license here. She takes it away. She makes a phone call, another phone call, talks to the other two cunts. She comes back. She says, wait, I wait. I go and get me a coffee to the coffee shop. And at that point, I pull out the fucking memory card from my camera and I put a blank one in there and I put it away thinking they're not gonna check. They're gonna check my camera and they're gonna let me go. Get me a coffee, come out. You know, the bitches are still there. Now two big dudes on camouflage uniforms show up from inside the, the plant. And they start asking me questions. I don't know what you're saying, you know, I'm Americansky, da Americansky, American, okay, so they they start asking questions, they talk in between, they make phone calls. We go outside, I sit down on a bench, I'm, I'm checking out the places, I'm not taking any more pictures. And then, then uh, they say, wait, so I wait, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes, I'm hanging in there. I said, dude, I gotta go, I gotta go today. My train leaves at 5.45 p.m. I gotta go. So, they don't care, they don't know. So, I'm sitting there and suddenly, I look on the right and there's a police, uh, a police car, a police jeep. It's one of those Soviet jeeps. The jeep shows up, three big dudes on uniform show up with long faces, not friendly at all. And I'm like, oh shit, this is fucking getting serious. So they come in, they talk to them, and then they come to me, and they talk to me, yelling at me, like, yeah, what, what the fuck? And, you know, I said, hey, dude, I haven't done anything. Don't talk to me like that. So they ask me for my ID. I say, that dude has it. They go to that fat dude, get the ID. Then they ask me some more questions, and then say, follow me, go to the car. We go to the car. I said, oh, shit. Where, where the fuck are we going? Where are you taking the fuck? Where the fuck? Where the fuck are you taking me? So they take me to the car. They try to open the back, but it's locked. So they put me in the seat, in the back seat. One guy gets on, on my, says, pull, pull me, pushes me over, sits right here with me, the other two in the front. And we drove away. So I'm like, oh shit, what, what happened here? The days of the old Soviet Union, that's what happened. So they, we drive about three kilometers away, make a turn, and we get to the police station. We go in, there's guys with AK-47s, not friendly. We go in, there's a window on the right hand side with a, you know, protective glass and cage and everything. We go in, they ask for the key, they open the, there's a cage, broad eye on, you know, a fucking rebar cage, badly made. They open the cage, we go in, they take me downstairs to the basement, there's a room, with a guy with an AK-47, big, big, heavy door like this, and uh, and then the cage. There's a fucking cage. Half of the room has a cage made out of fucking um, rebar, really badly made by somebody that didn't even know how to weld. Well, there's a cage, and in the other side, there's a fucking window, like a two one-way mirror window with a fucking slot, and then a table. They asked me to empty my pockets, to pull out my, you know, take off my jacket, my camera, and they take everything and they throw me in the fucking cage. That cage is as big as this little fucking 
compartment, okay? This is how big the cage was, or maybe smaller. And there's three guys from Uzbekistan there. So I go in, friendly, I say, hey, what's up guys, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I'm hanging in there, they're, they're, they lock me in, in the cage with these three Uzbekistanis, and they go away. So I, the, the guard, I start talking to the guard with the AK-47, he's kind of friendly, he's, he knows a couple words in English, and I start talking to him, I say, what the fuck is going on? He says, ah, no worries. I said, no, I'm not worried, but I'm in fucking jail for taking a fucking picture. Anyways, time goes by and goes by, guys come in, go out, they come in, stand in front of me, guys on uniform with AK-47s, guys on different uniforms, in front of me, guys on suits, in front of me, pointing at me, talking about me, and I'm still standing in the fucking cage. Finally, hours later, two, three hours easy of being in that fucking cage, they take me through this hallway, not the way I came in, but the other way, through this whole dark hallway, and it's got doors with little red lights on top of the fucking door flashing. And I hear voices in there. They open one with a bunch of fucking locks, take me inside, there's a fucking little desk with a light. They talk to me, they interrogate me. What's your name, what do you do, where do you live? Who do you work for, what are you doing here? Why did you take the pictures? What's the name of your father, your mother, your brothers, your sisters? Where do you live, where, do you, where were you born? Uh, what's the name of your wife? What does your wife do? Where is she right now? Are you traveling alone? Over and over and over again. As I'm giving them information, what's your phone number? What's your WhatsApp? What is this? Unlock your phone, show me your pictures, show me the other pictures, everything, everything, every fucking thing. Um, while, while, I'm, while I'm saying this, the other guy on a laptop is checking online my informa the information I'm giving them. And yeah, it is popping up. Uh, when I make a mistake, they say, you say this, well, yeah, I, I have a California driver license, but I, I live in Atlanta. Oh, what is your address in Atlanta? This is my address in Atlanta. What is your address in San Diego? Nah, San Diego is just, yeah, I, I used to live there. What, you know, what is your home phone number? What is everything, everything, over, over again. They take me out, take me back to the cage. I'm sitting on the cage for another fucking hour. They take me out again. We go out, all over again, same questions. When I go back on one of those occasions, Pakistani guys are leaving, and they say goodbye and everything, and they leave. And then I start checking out the wall, because I have nothing else to do. So I start checking out the wall and I see the fucking smears of blood and shit, you know? I'm like, fuck, people is being beaten up here. Or it's been beaten up before and they come in here all bleeding out. Okay, so I better be fucking good. Um, I, I'm sitting there, I, I, you know, I, what am I gonna lose? What am, what am I gonna gain by going fucking ape shit, you know? So I just sat there, I said, listen, I, I paid 500 fucking $26 for a fucking visa for Russia and this is the way you fucking treat me? So I tell them how what happened to me when I entered the country, which it was on the 14th and my visa started on the 6th, 15th. So I spent one fucking day detained, you know? I missed my, they took me off the fucking train. We're all laughing, ah, so this is your second time. I say, yeah, you know that we are uh, sponsoring the, the World Cup in two years? I say, yeah, I saw the fucking banners everywhere. I've seen that you're cleaning everything. And you know what? You should fucking understand that you're gonna have a lot of fucking people like me going into places like Red October, taking pictures, and you're gonna be arresting them and you're gonna be fucking interrogating them. Ha ha, we're fucking practicing with you. So by now, we're friendly, them and me. We're cool. Anyways, I'm checking out the, the logos, I'm checking out the cage, I'm checking out everything. It's, it's just amazing. I'm a fucking <laughs> low rating citizen, but I'm in jail. Anyways, what happened here, and I, nobody told me, it's just my fucking brains working. This is still the Soviet Union. There's a lot of shit that is still Soviet in here. There's nothing we can do about this, you know? I said, you arrested me because I 
took some pictures of the fucking plan. Well, you didn't know? No, what? I didn't know what. It's a fucking plan from 1941, and I should know something? I mean, how about putting a fucking sign with no photography in there? A warning. I'm not a fucking magician. I don't read fucking minds. No, I didn't know. Well, yeah, you're not supposed to take pictures. Yeah, I know. Now, now they're following protocol. They have to do all this shit. Not only that, they gotta fill up all these kind of... I'm looking at them and they're filling up paperwork like crazy. And then after they fill up the paperwork, they call other people and they send the paperwork to these other people and other people and other people. We gotta remember the Soviet Union, everybody had a job. There was no unemployment and there's still no unemployment. You don't see beggars in the streets in Russia. So there's no fucking welfare shit in Russia, you know? Think about that. So. Basically, they uh, they had to produce jobs. Well, now after I do my job, I gotta fill up all this paperwork. I gotta interrogate this motherfucker, and now I gotta take this all this information and give it to this other guy. And this other motherfucker is gonna pass it on another guy, another guy, and then never and then the fucking release is gonna come out from all these people. Well, at some point they see my tickets. I'm leaving at 5:13 p.m. I pay about $200 for my tickets from um, Volgograd, Moscow, Moscow, Astana, Astana, Almaty. I'm going to get there in four fucking days. Anyways, they see that I'm leaving. Oh, you're leaving today. I said, no shit. Yeah, I'm leaving today. I'm supposed to go to Mama, Mama Yev Kurgan still. I guess I'm not going to go. No, no, we're not going to go. Okay. So they say, they talk among them. They make another phone call to some of the other dudes above and some of the other dudes and finally they really they say well you know what uh, when we release you when we release you we're gonna take you to pick up your luggage and then from picking up your luggage we're gonna take you to the to the uh Boxale, to the train station the railway station i say hey that's at least that's the least you can fucking do for me now they never treated me bad they never gave me shit they never even touched me or pushed me nothing nothing really nice police officers. Second time I'm, I've been detained here and those guys treated me good. I actually asked them, hey, can you fucking get my camera right there? And can you fucking take a picture of me behind bars, please? Let me fucking post it so they can fucking believe that this shit actually happened to me because it's the second fucking time. And they just laugh, you know? One guy asked, actually spoke English. That was my salvation. Like four hours into my detention, one guy on a suit spoke English. I'm like, oh my God. Hallelujah. Um, so, after all this fucking mess, all this disaster, uh, hours and hours and hours, they say, well, we're gonna fucking take your phone again and your fucking camera again. And I say, oh, they're gonna delete my shit. No, they didn't do shit. They didn't delete any of my pictures. They didn't fucking, they didn't even check, actually. They, they, you know, they were just following protocol. They were just doing what they were supposed to be doing. Filling up paperwork, interrogating me, asking me all these bunch of fucking questions, checking out on the internet to see that they're kind of true, and and then release the fuck out of me, you know? So, you know, they actually realize, oh well, you know, I guess, I guess uh, uh, this guy comes from a free fucking world, and we're not that free. So they were asking me actually later on questions about life in America. Not only that, you know, now that I mention America. I'm American, I got an American passport when I gave it to them. And I'm in Russia, in a fucking plant, taking pictures. So, what the fuck, am I a spy? You know, that may be the fucking thought. Anyways, that was my adventure today. I rushed to the fucking, I would not have made it without the police if they, I mean, when they released me, they, they released me, they took me to the fucking uh, railway station. I went through security. There's a lot of security all over Russia. You know, you go into the in the metro, you gotta go through metal detector. They fucking frisk you. If you go to the railway station, they frisk you. You go through a metal detector also. So it was a fucking adventure, actually. And I made it alive. I made it good, and I made some cop friends over there. They actually actually also took pictures of me like this front and the other side and I'm like you gotta be kidding me well when they did the same over in in uh, uh, Derbent in Dagestan you know when I was detained and taken off the train so I made it alive
Peace. And I continue my fucking trip all the way to fucking Kazakhstan. See ya.